to see just how deep each one of them is. He's checked in for Charlotte. Maladon comes in for Booknight. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Orlando. Bridges comes in for Suggs. Setting the floor for the Magic. We've got Ben Caro. Also, Miles Bridges out there. Desmond Bain is out there with Nikola Vucevic. Here's Martin. Lays it up and banks it in. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Pounded by ball. Pass to Vucevic. From deep. They get it back. Here's Bancaro. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. And here's MP from outside. It's rebounded by Bancaro. Bancaro's got his fifth rebound in this one. Offensively, Bancaro is a difference maker. Not just with the talent, but with his relentless approach. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Charlotte trailing. Martin outside. Shoots over Vucevic. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Grant, you watch Ben Carroll. He's got a rare mix of moves for a big man. Yeah, B.A., the perfect combination of size, strength, and skill. Crosses up defenders well, spin moves, excellent body control, and he uses his body to shield the ball when he's driving through the lane. Martin, shooting one. Free throw good, MP. The Magic shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Down low. Here's Vucevic. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Well, Vucevic has got a number of moves he can go to. So comfortable this close to the cup. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Pure from three-point range. Martin's got eight. Orlando leading. Bridges outside. The three is up. And that won't fall for him. He's 0 for 2. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Martin misses. Bad offense against bad defense. The play looked as ugly as you'd imagine. Count it. And that oh, shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Nails it from three. He's got 11. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. And Vucevic slams it in. He's got the size to make that an easy finish. Vucevic, deep position, and he's golden. Here's Martin. 4-3. Oh, at the buzzer! Wow! I didn't think he was going to get it off in time. Oh, wow. Great awareness in crucial situations. Nicely done. Paolo Bancaro getting it done for the Magic. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. We'll be back in a moment. Man, your Hornets use... And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And for the Magic guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, they clearly came into this game focused on sharing the ball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. And for Orlando, Bancaro and Carter Jr. are down low. Then it's Miles Bridges. Then there's Jalen Suggs. Bancaro collects the two points near the hoop. Bancaro's got ten. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Martin against Carter. The baseline, Jay. And Charlotte again with the bucket. You know, they work the ball into ideal position there to get the high-quality look. Inside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Going all in. That was the 2K drive.
well worth a second look. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Nets put on a show. He scored 32 points and also played lockdown defense. His fingerprints were all over this game. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Bain, he's checked in for Orlando. Charlotte on D. They trail by one. Here's Carter, and the Magic again can't hit. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got 20 points. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Pass to Suggs. Hounded by ball. Left side, Carter. Basket's good. Wendell he has six. Junior. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. From deep, MP. And again, Charlotte with the triple. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Outside Bain. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by MP. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. Overall, though, they've taken good care of the ball. That's their first turnover. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Hall. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. And we know dead ball situations are where some fans change the channel. Doris, has the league done enough to discourage intentional fouls? Every form of media to me, B.A., is trying to capture the imagination of their fans. So anything that enhances your product is something that in the long term is going to do well for you. Free throw good. MP Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Carter. And both free throws good for MP. Well, I know you spent a lot of your career in Orlando. What are your favorite memories of that time? None, B.A. You know I was hurt the entire time while I was in Orlando. No, but in all seriousness, they were great people, great city, and it was fun to see young guys like Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard get drafted and emerge as great players and leaders for their ball club. And the Magic making a change here. Robinson, Matisse. The Hornets have gone four for six here in the second. Martin right side. That one goes. Count it. Martin's got 27. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Pass to Bain. 152 left to play in the first half of basketball. Robinson. And that one drops for him. Their offense is really humming right now. And it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. From deep, MP. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Pass to Bain. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Here's Vucevic. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Let's remember we're talking about a fundamentally sound player. Nikola Vucevic gifted at fooling defenders with that pump fake. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Hornets. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers. 
a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Magic. They lead by two. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been... And the Hornets making a change here. Martin's checked in. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Let's it go from the wing. Jump shot is good. Martin's got 32 points. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. To the paint. Here's Van Caro. Tipped. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. The Hornets with the lead. And for the Magic, Van Caro and Carter Jr. are down low. Then there's Jalen Suggs. Then it's Desmond Bain. And the three-pointer goes. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Pass to Suggs. Beyond the arc. Up again. It's good on the putback. Boy, that's a big-time effort play by Wendell Carter Jr. This guy gives you everything he's got. Here's Martin. Soft touch off the glass. Martin's got seven points here in the quarter. They couldn't have asked for a better start to the second half. They've been perfect from the field so far. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High-energy plays like that one can make a big difference. Pass to Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. Uh-oh, Wendell Carter Jr. has caught his rhythm. You better look out, defense. It's Martin on the wing. He's checked by Carter. Count it. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Right around three minutes into this second half. Suggs, no good. For Charlotte, they've gone a perfect seven for seven and looking strong in this third quarter. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Martin misses. The Magic have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to Bain, to the middle. And that one is hammered home! <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Martin sinks that one from the post. Martin's got 41. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Here's Suggs. Right side, Carter. Shoots over Booknight. And it's Orlando with another. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Let's get on our feet and make some noise for your honeybee. And the Magic making a change here. 119 left in the third. And here's MP from outside. Nails it from beyond the arc. Martin's got 14 points now in the second half. His big night continues. He is fueling this lead. Now charge to Charlotte. Martin. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. A minute four left to play in the third. Pass to Robinson. Blocked! And they recover it. Here's Ortiz. Here's Carter. They shoot again! Off target. Eight for 12 from the floor. Two for one opportunity if they can time it right. Great way to end the quarter. He gets it in there. And now a seven-point Hornet lead. And adding to this lead right now, 
riding a wave of momentum. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. To the inside. And a big finish by Robinson. Well, Mitchell Robinson will take it to the rim with authority every chance he gets. Pass to Martin. Out to the wing. He got it up. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. It's the Hornets up by five. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Bancaro. Orlando trailing here. And for the Magic, Bancaro and Carter Jr. are down low. Jalen Suggs out there with Desmond Bain. And it's Bridges in at the three. Back to Suggs. To the middle. Here's Bancaro. And he bangs it home with one hand. Jalen Suggs has proven early. If you're open, he's going to find you. Pretty pass. The floater. Martin misses. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Down low. And a strong finish with two hands. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. And here's MP from outside. Knocks down the long J. Martin's got 49 in the game. He got loose from downtown in the first half. Now has three here in the second. Unstoppable. Here's Bancaro. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. What a quality Jaylen pass from Jalen Suggs. Suggs. This guy relishes the chance to set up his teammates. Here's Martin. Another one goes. Incredible. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. The Magic have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Bridges outside. Here's Suggs. Hook loose. Now Martin. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Pass the ball. Back to Martin. Shot clock at five. Now here's Bridges. Outside Bain. Here's Ben Carroll. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent. And so the Hornets take the win. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. So long, everyone.
kids. Good game last night. Well, that's it for this episode, but we will be back with season 10 of NBA 2K TV in NBA 2K24. And remember, we'll be live on September 8th on 2K Day. Don't miss it. Until then, as always, enjoy the game. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Hornets making a change here. Martin's checked in. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? On the floor for Charlotte. Ball is the point with Book Knight on the wing. Then it's MP, and it's Nicholson in at the three. Inside, and the basket by McLeod. You can't teach court awareness. Barnes understands when his guys are uncovered. Right side, Martin. From outside, off the mark. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. And moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, in that one, the shot selection wasn't terrible, but they had to tighten it up. It did not happen. They never really got into a rhythm, despite trying a few different things. Sometimes, it's just not your night. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. The Hornets have gone three for three at the line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Raptors have gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. A minute 50 left to play in the first. To the inside, Collins tries again, and the layup is good. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Martin from outside. And with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Nobody near Barnes. Off target from outside. And it's the Hornets ball. And Scotty Barnes, the rookie of the year in 2022 in the NBA. And you could argue he was maybe the biggest surprise of the 21 draft. Made a huge impact on the floor immediately. If you did a redraft of that class, he'd be closer to the top. Here's Mann, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And that one's good, Barnes. And now, let's take one more look at that great mobile one drive. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Martin for three. Unable to get that one. And Toronto will go the other way with it. And it's Barnes slamming it down. Speed and power on display from Barnes on that dunk. Martin against Collins. Shoots from the baseline. And it's Martin missing. In a funk this quarter, he's trying to shoot his way out of it. Burks the pass to Collins. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. 
Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both ends. And so it's Scotty Barnes making things happen for Toronto. Willing his team to a successful quarter performance, he seemed to stop at nothing to push the momentum. And we'll be right back after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? Uh, throughout the first quarter, they, they did a great job of just running the offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups, and the execution is there. They've got Gary Trent. He's out there with Pascal Siakam. And it's Burks in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. And the pass to Williams. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> right, that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Burks, the pass to McLeod. With the teardrop, it doesn't go for him. Charlotte in the lead. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against Orlando was tremendous. He contributed 51 points and got there the usual way. An impressive barrage of three-pointers. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it. And he took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Toronto. For me, they're turning defense into offense, creating opportunities by taking the ball away. Great effort. And they've also refused to give up on their plays tonight, chasing after their shots and just working hard for second chance points. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next as a player. Uh, how do you adjust to that? It's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I, I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. Collins, good. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Hornets trail by 11. Outside, Martin. And another three for Charlotte. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Toronto. They've led by as many as 11 points. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line. 79% overall. That's good from Williams. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. And Williams drops them both. 105 left in the first half. Martin for three, and another three for Charlotte. What a game for him so far. He started out strong in that first quarter and has only turned it up from there. And here's Barnes for three. That shot off. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Here's Martin. Again, the Hornets score. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Outside, Williams. Pass to man. Toronto working the ball around now. And the shot goes in. Collins has got six. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Shot is good, and the Toronto lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Martin. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. 
Man passes to Barnes. 12 seconds left in the first half. Inside. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Yet another three. Once we hit the second quarter, it just seems as if those threes have just started to fall like raindrops. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Raptors lead by four. And we'll be back right after this. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so. And Raptors making a change here. Burks has checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Martin's checked in. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. All is the point with Book Knight on the wing. Then it's MP. And it's Nicholson in at the small forward. Two points. That one goes. He is a scoring machine right now, but he needs more support from his teammates if they want to win this one. Siakam. And finished off by Siakam. Beautiful when the big man takes flight. Pascal Siakam leaving no room for air with that dunk. Martin from outside, and it's the Hornets another three. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks, guys. A busy few years for Nick Nurse in 2019. He helped lead the Raptors to the title, and he was the 2020 Coach of the Year. He says, it means a lot to me that this city and this country loves this team so much that we can go out there and give them something to be proud of. Of course, Kevin, he's been a key part of that success. Back to you. Maybe the single most important part of their success, D.A., thank you so much. The Hornets shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Here's what Charlotte's going with right now. Paul's checked in for book night, and Jones subbed in for ball. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Trent outside. Pass to McClough. The layup missed. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Montgomery controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, what terrific hustle he's got a nose for the rebound Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up Raptors leading by six Trent outside and out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession out of bounds now Adon's checked in for Charlotte substitution on the court here's Melodon. It's Martin on the wing. He's guarded by Collins. Another three that time. A beautiful shot from Martin. Martin's got 11 in the second half. For Toronto, they've gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Barnes passes to Mann. Back to Barnes. 136 left in the third quarter of the game. Burks for three. And the rebound goes to Martin. Martin's got four rebounds in this game. For the tie, knocks down the three ball. For three. Martin's got 39. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. And the Raptors call time here. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Trent's checked in for the Raptors. Williams comes in for Burks. One fourteen left in the third quarter. Collins finds Barnes. Jones against Williams. And here's Collins from outside. And it's Melodon with the rebound. 
Martin against Williams. For the lead. And Martin with the lay-in. Good. Martin's got 41. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Good on the bucket. Collins has got eight points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And every time you think he can't hit another, mm-hmm. 34 seconds left to play in the third. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. There's Williams with the three. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his third personal foul. Raptors have been at their finest form at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And they've been ordinary on the season as well. Just about 75% from the line. The first one falls. So he gets them both. Charlotte's gone four or six from three point land since the start of the second half. Martin with the bucket. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Pass to Collins. It's Trent on the wing. Hornets foul. Martin. That's his fourth personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for your Raptors. Gary Trent Jr. Two shots. The free throw drops for Trent. Sons of NBA players like Gary Trent Jr., they grow up around the game, and they have a deep understanding of basketball. Both good from the line that time. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Three-pointer, Martin. Oh! Knocked down the buzzer, Peter. That might be a soul-crushing basket. What a shot to carry them into the fourth quarter. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. And it's ahead, leading by four. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Hornets leading by four. The forwards are Barnes and Siakam. Williams is out there with Gary Trent. And it's McLeod and at the five. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. Williams kicks to Siakam. Trent outside. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Martin's got five rebounds tonight. Lopez left side. Martin against Siakam. Again, what an avalanche! He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists in the game. And the Hornets call time here. And Coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now, rush. There's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making 
And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.